Ron Harris, the Chelsea captain, making his 301st Football League appearance for the club. Newcastle captain, the Scottish international Bobby Moncur, who in 10 years with the club scored his first league goal last week. A check now on the Chelsea team. Wearing number five, Marvin Hinton, holding his place on merit from John Dempsey, who is named as the substitute. Number 10, Ian Hutchinson, fresh from his first under-23 international appearance in midweek against Wales. Well, now the uh, Newcastle United side, and Newcastle this season with an exceptional record in London. They've played two matches and won them both. 2-0 against West Ham United, and a fortnight ago, a shock 2-1 win at White Hart Lane against Spurs. Led by the Welsh international number nine, Wynne Davis. The substitute, teenager Stuart Barrowcliffe, who if he's brought on, will be playing his first match for the club. The referee is Mr. Dennis Corbett from Wolverhampton. A final check on the watch. The linesmen are in position, and Newcastle United to kick off. Newcastle in 11th place in the league table. Chelsea are fourth. Frank Clark for Newcastle. And Newcastle really have had problems scoring goals this season, or finding a consistent goal scorer. Their league goals have been shared among 12 players. And Pop Robson, the number seven, is the leading scorer with four goals. John Hollins for Chelsea. Hutchinson. Tarantoff to Ford. Number eight, Dyson. It's Ford. Hinton for Chelsea. Arentoft. Ben Arentoft. Danish international before he came to live in this country. Craig. McNamee. Just knocking it about. Ford. Hausman. That's nicely bent, and Hutchinson just offside. He's offside, and what a good goal that might have been. Ironic hand clap there from uh, Hutchinson. He was only just offside, but I saw the flag go up the moment he made his move, and the linesman was right in line with play. Davis, he does get up so well. Robson through the back of the defense. Good tackle by Harris. Cook now for Chelsea. Weller. From Kerr for Newcastle. Ford to Davis. It's uh, Frank Clark. Aaron Toft. It's Webb in the way. So determined. Clark for Newcastle. Osgood now to Weller. Osgood got knocked down. Weller battling his way on. And play being brought back. The referee didn't play the advantage and the crowd do not like it. Many of the crowd whistling because they feel the advantage may well have been played then. Weller was clearly fouled, but he kept going. Boyle with a kick. A gift. Davis. Well read by Hinton. Now Cook. Houseman. Flag up. Foul given. A free kick to Chelsea. Peter Houseman, number 11. was Aaron Toff. Now, Hollins for Chelsea. Boyle is wide. He's not offside. Total miskick. Hollins again. And Chelsea on the attack once more. And he hit the bar. Brilliant effort by Hollins with the goalkeeper off the line and beat. Now, Robson. Hinton for Chelsea. Harris. Cook. Hausman. McNamee. 
Gibb. Harris. Hutchinson. Osgood. Beautiful ball. Well done. That's why he cost a hundred thousand pounds to score goals like that. That's Arantov now back to Clark. And Newcastle have conceded the goal that in the first 15 or 20 minutes Chelsea looked like scoring. It's Weller and Robson flashing. And Weller winning. He's really on fire now. Keith Weller's really caught a light after scoring that goal. David Webb. Hutchinson. Nice cool back header that by McNamee. Now Davis. Clark. Hands by Boyle. On Kerr, the Newcastle captain. Harris now to Houseman. done so well to resist that now Harris Hutchinson's up there and they flag up the linesman again who seems to be acting as referee in this match getting an awful lot of flag from the man with the yellow flag this is mr. Bond who's traveled a long way to act in this match from Barnstable but he's certainly very much in it Good flick by Davis to Dyson. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Peter Manetti in just the right spot. Skip. Hausman. Good play. Harris. Moncur. McFall to Moncur. And he's being kept under pressure. Clark, or rather Craig. Bad ball. Hollins. Again, the linesman. Seeing an awful lot of that yellow flag. Dave is brilliant. Davis getting these flicks in the air. That's Robson. Pop Robson, number seven, but Davis is the man causing the trouble. Hausman. Harris. Hutchinson. On Kerr. Hausman. Osgood. Hollins breaking down the middle. This is Cook. Goal kick. That's it, a half-time whistle, and Chelsea leading Newcastle United by one goal to nil, and that's really just about the difference between these two teams.
The goal scored by Keith Weller after 36 minutes. Chelsea's most fervent supporters in the shed, ready to welcome their team as they attack that end of the ground in the second half. Mr. Corbett uh, signalling to the linesman, I'm all ready to go. That's Cook now, back to number two, John Boyle. Miss hit hit, now Clark. Collins. Frank Clark. It's Ford. Boyle penalised. Number three, Harris for Chelsea. Hutchins. Osgood. Great, it's Cook. Hutchins to Cook. Hutchinson this time with the throw. Houseman. And Clark had to concede the corner. And Hutchinson's quick throw and Houseman's quick thinking created that situation. Weller, Weller again, and offside, Osgood was offside, it's Keith Weller, scorer of the only goal in the match so far, and the linesman signal then that the kick had not been taken properly, so the referee orders it to be taken again. Davis, who shielded it well. Now Harris. And again, the linesman. Now, this is the other linesman. And it really is quite incredible. The players are getting irritated. The crowd are getting more and more vexed. An orange has just been thrown at the linesman. And the linesmen are now getting the slow hand at the clap. But they certainly breaking up this game, they're in the game all the time on one side or the other. Now Osgood. The tackle by McNamee. This is Clark. A Ford. And a flag up for hands. Again, the linesman made the decision because the referee was on the blind side. Boyle was the man he penalised, but it looked to me as if Boyle rested it down with his body. And these linesmen are beginning to referee the game. It's Moncur. That was Webb. Now Hausman. Robson. Finally, Harris it was. To Hausman. Cook, Harris, Hausman to Harris, Cook, Harris once more, goal kick. Peter Elsgood, who hasn't scored many goals this year, but he's won a lot of friends. Collins, powering his way forward, Weller, goal kick, and listen to the protest at the linesman who advised the referee, again it was the linesman's flag that pointed, rather looked to me as if the linesman was right on that occasion, Robs.
persistent, but he's in trouble. Now Hollins. He's got Hutchinson only in front of him. And well away. Hollins. Hutchinson, and a great save. A fine Chelsea move. The move and the save being applauded by players and spectators. Osgood. That's Gibb for Newcastle. Harris for Chelsea. To Hausman. Hutchinson was pushed. Harris, Osgood, and the flag up again, and Osgood penalised. Well, these linesmen are certainly making a name for themselves. <laughs> Weller. Clark. Adentoff back to Clark. Osgood in the way. And he was determined to get that. And again. And Clark was after him all the time then. He had three goes. And Clark is being booked. And that booking was inevitable. Osgood showed enormous determination then. Hausman with a kick. Moncur. A cook to Hausman. Boyle, Aaron Toft, Ford, and he held Boyle. But there's not going to be time to take that kick because the final whistle has gone. We make it a few seconds early to bring to an end this untidy match. One with a goal by Keith Weller after 36 minutes.